Wallace Simpson would be turning in her grave. Simpson was the American socialite divorcee who Prince Edward fell in love with forcing him to choose between the throne and love. He chose Simpson and abdicated, 82 years later and Markle, also an American divorced celebrity, has married a prince, and seemingly on her own terms. The ceremony owed as much to her black American culture as to his white, British royal one. Yes, the church was in fact the royal chapel where former monarchs including Henry VIII, Charles I, George III, Edward VII and George V, King George VI and the Queen Mother are buried. Yes, bridesmaids were princesses, and of course they sang God save the Queen. But what will be remembered is this sermon from Rev. Michael Curry, the first African American to lead the U.S. Episcopal Church. He has previously spoken out against racism, sexual harassment, and in favor of LGBT equality. Love is the way, he told the guests, quoting, alongside the Bible, the black human rights leader Martin Luther King. People commented on the fact that he chose to read from an iPad. A gospel choir sang, Stand By Me. The Queen's chaplain Rose Hudson Wilkin, a black woman, gave an address, 19-year-old Shakukana Mason, the first black man to win the BBC Young Musician of the Year Award, in 2016, gave an extraordinary performance, the biggest stars there were Oprah Winfrey and Serena Williams, of course the winners of any wedding should always be the bride and groom. Both certainly looked like they had won. But in this one, anyone who cares about a modern, multicultural, inclusive and internationalist society also won. And maybe the whole royal family won a little too, because today they feel just a little more relevant than before.